I'm going to show you how to do a sequence of images and put them into one graphic. So first thing we got to do is have some images to work with. Uh, so I'm just going to do a file open and open up uh, four images. Oh, just opened up one. Let me open up the other ones. So if I click on one, hold down the command key, then I can open them all up. <clears throat> And I need to open up one more. I don't remember which one it was. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is we're going to combine all these together. If you're in CS5, I want to float all these windows. Uh, so I'm just going to click on this little icon and choose float all windows. So they're all in one. And now what I have to do is just move all these into the other, uh, into at least one project. So I've just got my move tool and I'm just going to grab this one, drag it into this one. I can go ahead and close that. Grab the next one, close it, and then grab this fourth one. Click, hold, and drag to select them in. So now I've got all of my, close that one up too. I have all of my graphics in one. I need to align them, so if I click on one of the layers, and hold down Shift, Let's just select the other and then up here I can choose this one right here the center vertical and horizontal and then I can just click hold and drag all of them at the same time and get them lined up there now I'm ready to start getting rid of some of the backgrounds of these so I'm going to be using the mask tool so I'll come down here and add this mask layer and I'm going to choose black. So make sure this is on black. And if I just mouse click on there, it'll make it disappear. It's all black in that area. And with the brush tool and changing this to white, I can come back in here and start clicking and dragging and add that piece of that image back. So I'll do that two more times. So the next one, I'll just click on that next one, add a mask layer to that one, make sure this is on black, click on the paint bucket, just mouse click, now that one's gone, go back to the brush tool, white will add back for me, so I just click and drag, and that one is back, and then finally I'll go to this last layer, Click on that mask one more time. Choose the paint bucket. Make sure black is on. Wipe that one away. Go to my brush. Flip that over to white. And I'm going to make my brush size a little bit bigger by pressing the bracket keys. And now I'll just add that one back. So that's how I will get accidentally bring back too much I can just flip that back over to black maybe make this a little bit smaller and I can get a little bit more detail in there and I'm pretty much done maybe add a little bit of a lightener so if I add maybe a levels and just bring this over to lighten that up a little bit and I should be good File, save, and I'll save it as a, a JPEG. So I'll just save it as a JPEG. Give it a little bit different name so I don't go over the top of my original. And click save. And that's how you do that.